Welcome to True News, where we give you the news behind the news. Nigeria's former ambassador to Spain, Bianca Oju, who slaps the wife of former governor of Anambra State, Ebele Obiano. This took place on the 17th of March 2022 at the inauguration ceremony of Governor Charles Saludo, the governor of Anambra State. I cannot independently confirm what happened, but according to sources from BBC Pigeon, Ebele Obiano arrived at the inauguration venue late. Everyone was already seated when she arrived. When she cited Bianca Ojuku, she walked up to her for some, Hey girl! But Bianca was not having it. She was not interested. Well, Ebele did not care. She just had to speak her mind, right? Bianca got up. Hey! Bianca got up and gave her a wig readjusting slap. You know, like old Roger got up and gave her a knock. Wait, the perfect song for this comes to mind. Okay, yeah. Try Jesus, not me, cause that throw hands. <laughs> Paul Saludo, he never saw this coming. All the man wanted was to get sworn into office already. This episode simply took the shine of what should have been a historic event. Well, I guess she has one of the skill sets of politicians in Nigeria. Thuggery and fist throwing. Very uncultured and disgraceful. Anything goes right. Meanwhile, it is double wahala for Willie Obiano as things got from bad to worse, or from frying pan to fire for him in number two. Willie Obiano has been arrested by the EFCC. This happened a few hours after his handover to Chukuma Chao Soludo as the governor of Anambra State. According to the spokesperson of the EFCC, he has been on their watch list for a long while, was really not willingly working as he has always said. You know, he has this inscribed everywhere in Anambra, or did he mean willingly doing some shady work and an invariant misinterpreted? Hmm. Anyway, the EFCC with this same ginger should arrest all the fraudulent public servants and corrupt politicians in Nigeria. Let me give them a list. On number one, Senator. Nah, let me just leave the EFCC to find out for themselves. But come on. They should have at least given ex-governor Willie the chance to have a fight with his wife about the fight she had with um, ex-ambassador um, Bianca Ojuku, right? Yes, you see, do not interfere in marital squabbles between a man and his wife. How rude! Finally, on True News, for the first time since almost three months of fuel scarcity and prolonged shortage of electricity in the country, President Mohamed Buhari has finally spoken up. In a statement he released on Wednesday by his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, the president expressed his sincere regrets for the inconveniences caused to citizens of the country by the recent developments. Mr. Buari apologized to Nigerians and assured them that the challenges would soon be over. I do not know the medium this apology came. Maybe via calls or WhatsApp chats or video calls, his Twitter handles or via mail, I do not know. I think he realized that there might be no fuel in the presidential jets that will bring him back to Nigeria. Or maybe they informed him that the diesel in Aso Rock generator is all used up. I leave you to ponder this as I end the show. Remember to like, share and leave your thoughts in the comment section to be part of the show. And don't forget to get your PVC. Until next time, bye.